Ah, you'll never catch me, Shadow. Oh yeah, well watch out for my special attack. Whoa! Ugh. Ugh. Ugh, what was that? It's my super awesome game, Shadow the Hedgehog. The greatest game that will ever come out, made by Sega and Sonic Team. Rated E10 for some reason. For the PlayStation 2, a great console. You will never have a great game like this, Sonic, because this is a way better game than every game that you have ever had. Don't toot your own horn too much, Shadow. I've got my own games, and they're probably way better than yours. Oh yeah, is that true? Yeah, just look how many games I got. See, I got a lot of them. Ugh. Well, are any of them good, Sonic? Because I don't believe any of these games are good. Like, like look at that one. Well, let's find out by looking through all of these games. Oh no, not another one of these videos. Let's start off with the oddballs, the ones that don't really fit in any category too much. First up, we have Sonic Heroes for the PlayStation 2. And then we got Sonic Generations for the Xbox 360. And for the Nintendo DS, we have Sonic Classic Collection. Okay, maybe Sonic Heroes is good because I am playable in that game. You said maybe, so that must mean it's close to a yes. Now let's get on with the Wii games. For the Nintendo Wii, we have Sonic and the Black Knight, and we have Sonic and the Secret Ring. That game had the worst controls ever! I know, but then we got Sonic Colors, the best way to play Sonic Colors. And then we have Sonic Riders Zero Gravity, and then we also have Sonic Unleashed. This is the worst way to play the game! Can you stop ranting about my games and look at the good things about it? Like, Sonic Colors was good. Yeah, but then it got ruined with Sonic Colors Ultimate. Hey, 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 we're not there yet. We are still have to get through the Wii U games. For the Wii U, we have Sonic Lost World, a game that made me go, hey, that's pretty cool. And then we have Sonic Boom Rise of Lyric that made me go, hey, that's pretty bad. This is the worst game to ever come out ever. Why did Knuckles take steroids? I don't know, but apparently this is canon, or at least the story is, because Styx is mentioned in Sonic Frontiers. Which, let's get to the Switch games. For the Nintendo Switch, or Xbox, or PlayStation, because these games are also on those consoles, we have Sonic Mania, and we have Sonic Forces. This is also the worst game that has ever been made. But, I will have to say though, I'm playable in this game, so that gives it a little bit of a step up. We also have Team Sonic Racing, we have Sonic Colors Ultimate, which is the worst way to play Sonic Colors, we have Sonic Frontiers, which is a big step up for the franchise, and the most recent game to release for consoles, Sonic Superstars. We also have the GameStop exclusive Sonic Frontiers Steelbook that came with the pre-order of the game, but uh... We have the Switch version, so this doesn't really work right. If only they made a version for the Switch that would give Switch players a purpose for these things, you know? But these are still pretty good games, like uh, Frontiers and Mania and Superstars. They're pretty good. It seemed like they only started to head get their heads screwed in right when Frontiers came out, because after that, Sonic Superstars, I guess, was pretty good. And there's also rumors for me being in the game, apparently. I don't think you'll be in the game. I think you'll just be like a skin for me or something. Eh, close enough. Now we have the ones with me and Mario at the Olympic Games. I don't know how we got there, but we're gonna take a look at those games. Wait, why were you looking over there? Uh, I'm right here, why didn't you look at me? First up, we have Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games. Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Winter Games. Mario and Sonic at the London 2012 Olympic Games. Mario and Sonic at the Wii 2016 Olympic Games. And Mario and Sonic at the Tokyo 2020 Olympic Games. Also, fun fact, apparently there was like rumors of another game in this little series of Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games. That was supposed to be like a 2024 Summer or Winter Olympic Games back in May. Uh, but I don't think that ever got announced, and I don't think it is going to be announced, but keep an eye out for one of those. Seriously, who are you talking to? There's nobody over there. Oh, wait, there is. So, Shadow, these are all the games that uh, I've collected, uh, or at least, or we have collected. Wink, wink. But, um, yeah, there's, I'll admit there's some bad ones, and there are good ones, so you're gonna have to admit that I don't think that they'll ever make a Shadow the Hedgehog, another one of those, 
because, well, let's face it, why would they make another game about you? Now that's mean. I know you've had some bad ones, and there are good ones, but mine is always going to be the better one, so, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna leave. Okay? Bye. Uh, okay. <sighs> Man, there's a lot of games. <sighs> Man, I just... You know, there's always a time where you're gonna have to be criticized or be praised by people, and I feel like the way I go is by uh, criticism. Because after Boom, I think, everything just went downhill r right here. And people do not like Frontiers. People don't like Superstars. And these two were up for winning Game Awards, but they didn't. I still hate you, Genshin Impact. But at the end of the day, these games were made for the fans. And not just for money, but for the fans to enjoy and love because... A lot of people really love Frontiers, and I personally enjoy it as well. But, yeah, at the end of the day, this is all made for the fans, and you can't stop them from enjoying something that they love, because, well, we all hate a lot of things, but can't hate everything, you know? This is Sonic the Hedgehog, and I will see you next time! Yeah! Woo! I don't know what that was, but I'll see you guys next time. Ow.